Hello guys, my name is James, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Episode 2 of First Kill Season 1 begins with Juliet biting Cal and Cal staking Juliet through the chest. When Juliet falls unconscious, Cal flees from the party. At the party, Ben finds his classmate Ashley unconscious on the floor, blood smeared on her face. A woman sees, catches Ben's eyes, smiles, and leaves. Cal takes a bus home. When she feels her neck, there's no bite mark. At home, Cal's family searches for her. They go downstairs to find a monster in their home. It's called a shambler, and the three of them team up to fight it. Meanwhile, Juliet wakes up. She pulls the stake out of her chest, and the wound heals itself. She hears police officers and sneaks out of the house without their noticing. At Cal's house, the shambler picks up a pendant. Talia recognizes it as a summoner. Apollo took it from the cemetery, not having known what it was. Talia rushes at the monster and decapitates it. Juliet gets home. But her mother catches her sneaking back. Margot notices the blood dripping from her mouth and calls the rest of the family to celebrate Juliet's first kill. Now that she's killed, Margot says, they can have Eleanor's consecration ceremony on the next full moon. The Burns realize the summoner teleported the Shambler into their home. Theo is angry at Apollo. He almost destroyed the last picture Theo has of his own mom. Cal gets back home. She tells her mom she staked a vampire, but she didn't disintegrate. Talia says she wasn't a vampire, then. That night, Cal dreams of a horned monster that takes the shape of her mother. Her mother tells her, the worst monsters are the ones that appear to be human. Eleanor works as an intern for the district attorney's office, aka, her dad's office. She goes to see Malcolm at the morgue and wants to see Ashley Stanton's body. She notes that she still has blood in her veins. Her liver is missing, too. Malcolm says he's seen corpses like this before, a long time ago. Eleanor charms Malcolm into believing and recording that Ashley fell and hit her head. Juliet's dad is worried when he finds out that Ashley died of a head wound. He tells Margot they're not supposed to slaughter, they're supposed to feed. He says he doesn't want Juliet to become like him. Juliet finds out that Ashley died the next day at school. Ben tells her she supposedly died of a head wound, but he saw a lot of blood. Sebastian rebukes Eleanor for paying a visit to Malcolm and using her gift. He says she needs to be wary of her gift. No one else has it, not even her twin, Oliver. Eleanor shows Sebastian what actually happened to Ashley. They think Juliet tore out the girl's liver. Theo and Apollo meet with Mr. Cook from the guild. He thinks everyone should know about monsters. They give the damaged summoner to him. Sebastian talks to Juliet at home. He tells her he's proud of her and that she's always had compassion. He tells her compassion is a gift, not a weakness, and he knows she'll show more restraint next time she kills. Eleanor, meanwhile, feeds on a man in a bar's bathroom, but doesn't kill him. Her eyes shine yellow as she tells him this never happened and that she'll see him next week. Eleanor and Apollo talk to each other and flirt at the bar, each not knowing who the other is. At Ashley's vigil, Juliet starts crying blood. She leaves, but Cal follows after her. She wants to talk, but Juliet runs from her. Juliet tells her she didn't mean to bite her, but Cal doesn't believe her. They start fighting. When Cal hits her face, her hand becomes paralyzed from Juliet's blood. Juliet runs. They get in trouble with the principal for going up to the roof. Their mothers come in, and Talia immediately suspects that Juliet is the girl Cal staked. The mothers stay behind while the girls go to class. Juliet tells Cal she knew Cal was planning to kill her when she walked into the pantry. But all she wanted to do was kiss her anyway. She didn't mean to bite her. Talia and Margot talk after the meeting. Margot invites Talia to lunch next Sunday. She accepts. At home, Eleanor wants to hear the details of Juliet's kill. She shows Juliet pictures of Ashley's body. Eleanor also shows her the stake she found in her room. She knows her sister is keeping secrets, but Juliet doesn't answer her questions. 
Kel returns home to find her dad is back, along with other family members. Her dad tells her she was right. The girl she staked is a legacy vampire. That's why she didn't die. Now Kel has led the Burns family right to the Fairmont vampires. And every one of the Fairmonts must die.